Hi, uh, YouTube and fellow ship fanatics out there and stuff alike. Uh, this is actually not going to be uh, this is not going to be a pretty easy video for me because um, I had just realized, uh, you know, I found out just a few days ago that uh, um, that uh, famous actor uh, Bill Paxton, if you remember him, he was Brock Levin on the movie Titanic, and he'd been in several other movies too, Apollo 13 and you know, Twister, and also was the narrator for both the movie Ghost of the Abyss and also the Titanic documentary, What's Saint Titanic, had just passed away a few days ago of a congestive heart failure due to a surgical thing. And I actually just uh, found this paper here today that actually has an article about all the stuff here, and I want to read a little bit of it to you. It says, Bill Paxton, memorable every, every man is dead at 61. Actor brought grit, heart, and humor to crowd pleasers, aliens, Twister, Apollo 13, and Titanic. Actor Bill Paxton, who brought down to earth charisma in every man appeal to such blockbusters as Twister, Apollo 13, and Aliens, has died at age 61. In a statement issued by Paxton's publicist, a family representative said, It is with heavy hearts we share the news that Bill Paxton has passed away due to complications from surgery. A loving husband and father, Bill began his career in Hollywood working on films in the art department and went on to have an illustrated career spanning for four decades as a beloved and prolific actor and filmmaker. Bill's passion for the arts was felt by all who knew him and his warmth and tireless energy were undeniable. We ask to please respect the family's wish for privacy as they mourned the loss of their adorned husband and father. As the time of his death, he was starring as a rogue cop in CBS's Training Day. Paxton was born in Fort Worth, Texas, and in 1963, at the age of eight, he was on hand to see President Kennedy speak in Fort Worth hours before JFK was assassinated. A picture of Paxton lifted up above the crowd is displayed at the Sixth Floor Museum in Dallas. He moved to Hollywood when he turned 18, getting his first gig as a set dresser for pop cinema Trailblazer, Roger Cohen and going on to study acting at the New York University. After connecting with James Cameron, Paxton starred for the filmmaker in 1984's The Terminator as a sarcastic, pessimistic marine private Hudson facing the killer creature in Cameron's 1986 Aliens. He uttered immortal lines such as, We're on an express elevator to hell going down. Paxton continued to star in Cameron's directed projects, including 1994's True Lies and as Treasure Hunter Brock Lovett in 1997's Titanic. Paxton joined Cameron on an underwater expedition to the actual Titanic for 2003's IMAX documentary Ghost of the Abyss and served as narrator for the film. His best reviews came with roles as Morgan Earp alongside Kurt Russell in 1993's Tombstone and as astronaut Fred Hayes with Tom Hanks and Kevin Bacon in 1995's Apollo 13. The Ron Howard directed film featured the trio of astronauts trying to bring their damaged spacecraft back to Earth and was nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. Bacon tweeted Saturday that his favorite Apollo 13 film memory was of floating around in a tiny vessel with big hearted, hilarious, brilliant Bill Paxton. Paxton's role as a storm chaser researching tornadoes with Helen Hunt in 1996's Twister was the second highest grossing film of 1996. Hunt paid credit to Paxton for Twister's success, Sunday tweeting, he made this movie great, he acted his heart out. In recent years, Paxton has focused on television, starring most memorably as Polygramist Bill, Bill Hendrickson and HBO Big Love. I'm going to work and, work and looking at this mug in the morning, Jeanette Tipplehorn, one of his big Three big love rives told U.S. Today in 2007, when Bill's up there, when Bill's there, your whole day lights up. Paxton earned strong reviews and an Emmy, Emmy nomination for his performance as Randolph Randall McCoy, late leader of the McCoy clan, in the History Channel miniseries Hatfields and McCoys 2012. In his cop drama Training Day, which premiered earlier this month, he got an act alongside his son James Paxton, 22, who appeared in a guest role. Paxton also had a daughter, Linda, 19, 
with his wife Louise Newberry, whom he married in 1987. Part of the appeal of Training Day for Paxton was reaching a broader TV audience. This show will go to people, he told television writers in January. It will play on Skid Row. It will play in places we will never know of, but that kind of means something to me. I've always felt like a populist. I want to make something that goes out to everybody. Wow. That's really sad, honestly. And uh, so I actually was talking to my friend, uh, Glenn Barker, which if you know him, I'm Devin Arcane Taker Fan 710. I was ta telling him I was wanting to do like a tribute piece or something to uh, Mr. Paxton, and he told me, he's like, um, well, you should do a drawing, like, you know, from a scene of the movie Titanic, you know, because um, with the, the human form of the ship, you know, kind of, and, you know, a comfort or whatever, kind of like a piece you did years ago of the human form of the Titanic overlooking Jack and Rose, which I was like, I actually forgot I drew that picture. So last night I actually uh, sat down and for about an hour I drew this out. And I tried to figure out what to do with it and I finally didn't. So, and here it is right here. If you want to pause for a moment, you can take a better look at it. You can, but this is it. I drew a picture of Matthew would have appeared from the movie, the 2003 movie, Ghost of the Abyss. But, and you see the human from the Titanic behind him, you know, in comfort. And here, I wrote a line from the movie Titanic. It says, three years I've thought of nothing except Titanic, but I never got it. I never were. I never let it in. Brock Lovett, Titanic. And at the bottom I wrote, rest in peace, Bill Paxton, 1955-2017. I'm going to be uploading that picture on, on the My Devon Art channel, and I hope you guys will look at that. But so, I just wanted to do a little, a little thing in remembrance to uh, Mr. Paxton, and I hope, and I hope that your family and stuff will. I wish for your family to be okay in this rough time, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, if you're up there in heaven, hopefully you can. Uh, Maybe make everyone else smile like you did down here, like you, you know, all your roles and stuff that you did in the movies. And so, God bless you. And so, if you like the video, please hit like and all that. But until next time, this is your friend Commodore Urban.